happen because if this frame went astray as well, he would be in huge trouble, Trump. Both players have looked across to this right corner pocket as if there's another plant or one red that goes. Some noise in the arena, which has been for various different reasons uh, and from different sources, a bit of an issue all week, to be honest, here in Wuhan. Yeah, Zhang Weli is having a long, lingering look at somebody who's uh, got a, something making a noise in the audience. Now what, is he going to play off the cushion into the pink, get the reds open? Or is there anything that goes? There was a red that might have gone to the right corner. The pink itself is even more interesting. It certainly opens the balls up. Well, it doesn't look great, but I wouldn't want to say that he's not going to knock this in. Seven. On the back of a 144 to 147, it's hard to think he couldn't be any more confident right now playing a, a shot as difficult as this. Oh, goodness me, on his backswing there was a noise. He's in such a wonderful vein of concentration. It's the last thing the game needs. Something going on in the crowd. I don't know what it is. There's someone shouting now. Uh, his concentration might be broken. That's a shame. I don't think he'd have missed that, you know. He looks in brilliant form. And now maybe the, the concentration is not there. There was definitely an incident of some description. So, Xi Jiawei's challenge here is to regroup after whatever that commotion was. This is a big, big shot in this match. Well played. Well played for all sorts of reasons. Another pure piece of queuing from C, but given the hiatus after the interruption, all the more impressive. What a blow he could inflict here on Judd Trump. He was looking good for 3-2 before he missed the red. No, I agree. It's a massive moment in the match. And you kind of could see this coming if Trump didn't go on and convert that 59 into a lot more. Sixteen. Well, you know, while the reds are in open play, they're slightly in each other's way, those four reds. I think they might have to play one to the right middle or have the option to play the left red up into the green pocket, somewhere where he was queuing up with the cue ball. The crowd are absolutely engrossed. Oh, it was a great pot. Yet another one. Uh, 
That's a beautiful shot. That really is to finish there with a stun run through. He made it look simple. So did well. And this is now beginning to look like Si Jai Wee's frame. He's now the favourite. Trump got in with 59, left himself a thinnish cut to this left corner. So there too. And he's wondering if that will be his last shot of this frame. Fourth. Well, can he reach it by leading across? I think he probably can. 46. 46. Yeah, this is a, a very similar angle on the black to yellow that we saw during the 147. It's a complete natural. Well, any thoughts that C might become a little preoccupied by the magnitude of frame four, his first ever maximum break, have been quickly scotched here. If he can now mop up these colours for what would be 56. a very significant steal in this match. Trump is looking likely to get right back into it at 3-2 behind. Fifty nine. Brown, blue and pink is what he needs for what seems to be a very significant frame. Six to three. Six to eight. in the history books as what he achieved in frame four, but every bit as important in the life and times of Si Wee, the home favourite, clears the table. What a crucial break that could prove to be. And instead of 3-2 up, he now leads 4-1.